If you want to know the best miniseries, you should definitely watch our picks for the best ones of 2020. This is about us. And if you want to be part of this family and live in this house, then you will go upstairs and put on the fucking kids! We hope you will enjoy the following ranking. Please let us know your favorite in the comments and make sure to subscribe to never miss a good TV show again. Number 10. Hollywood 2020. We watched your screen test and it was terrible. But I like your look. And with some training, you might have something. Hollywood is a drama miniseries created by Ryan Murphy and Ian Brennan. The series follows a group of aspiring actors and filmmakers during the Hollywood Golden Age in the post-World War II era, trying to make their dreams come true. As a fascinating blend of fact and fiction, we not only witness how the business once worked, but how it could have changed in a wish-fulfillment fantasy. It suggests that if a few people had just been that bit braver, then movies would be a glorious Eden. What are you doing? Getting ready to celebrate. That's what I'm doing. This was quite a big day. You were about to direct a major motion picture. Mm -hmm. And I just had my first role on camera. You did. Number 9. The Haunting of Bly Manor, 2020. Put her back. She stays there. The Haunting of Bly Manor is a drama goth television series created by Mike Flanagan. Acting as the second installment in a new haunting horror anthology series, The Haunting of Bly Manor shows surprisingly effective drama and horror to crawl down your spine. After an au pair's tragic death, Henry hires a young American nanny to take care of two little children at a mysterious old house. But soon after arriving, she begins to experience strange occurrences and a grim history starts to unravel. You have to promise me that you'll stay in your room. Don't leave your room at night. Stay in your bed until morning. I don't think I can promise that. Number 8. Little Fires Everywhere, 2020. She is mine and I am a good mother. Oh, really? Because in my book, a good mother puts her daughter's needs before her own. Little Fires Everywhere is a drama miniseries created by Liz Tigelar. Following the brilliant ideas of drama shows like Little Big Lies, Little Fires Everywhere explores the nature of small lies that turn into great ones, building up a house of cards that can quickly collapse on the brink of a moment. Following the seemingly picture-perfect Richardson family who have buried the past, we witness how their perception of a suburban life shatters when everything goes to hell. This is not working out. I think this is going to be your last day. You think? Is this all just a plan with you and Bibi to worm your way into our lives to get to Mirabelle? Why did you even take this job? I took this job to protect my kid. From what? From you. Number 7. The Undoing. 2020. Oh my God, what happened? Is it my son? No, it's not about your son. I'm sorry if we frightened you. We, we do that sometimes. Right. The Undoing is a mystery psychological thriller miniseries created by David E. Kelly. Not only hauntingly suspenseful, but undeniably deep in storytelling, characters, and philosophical themes, The Undoing follows a successful therapist when her life shatters as it's completely turned upside down. Finding that her advice couldn't help her out in the most difficult times of her life, she is forced to question the nature of her being after a violent death and a spreading public disaster that buries her career. Would it be possible for us to speak to your husband? Um, well, um, why? Oh, he might have seen something. Oh, no. No, he didn't. Number 6. Defending Jacob 2020. Joking about being a murder suspect? It's not like anyone even knows who it is. Everybody knows! How do you think I know? Andy, calm down. Defending Jacob is a crime drama miniseries created by Mark Bombach. Combining elements of ruthless crime stories with haunting family drama and even political thriller elements, Defending Jacob explores the power of family and how far one would go to defend his when it is threatened. This is what happens to the parents of a young boy who, besides seeming beautifully innocent, is suspected to be a murderer. Now the two adults must face the possibility that their everything could be far from what they thought. A psycho! And they're gonna use that word over and over Andy, again. Andy, enough! Jesus Christ! 
Do you know what's at stake? Do you realize what they want to do to you? Stop it already. You're scaring him. Good. He should be scared. I'm scared. Number five. Unorthodox 2020. Unorthodox is a German American drama miniseries created by Anna Winger. Exploring the premise that its title already teases, Unorthodox follows a young Jewish woman who is forced to live her whole life in an ultra Orthodox community, where her whole future was strictly planned. But after breaking out, she goes on a journey of self-discovery, hoping to start all over again in Germany, far away from her people. But even thousands of miles can't help her when her people start seeking for her. She's not going to be able to do it. She's not going to be able to do it. She's not going to be able to do it. She's not going to be able to do it. She's not going to be able to do it. She's not going to be able to do it. Number four. I know this much is true, 2020. It's like, it's like my brother has been an anchor around my entire life. I Know This Much Is True is a drama miniseries created by Derek Sion France. This haunting exploration of a deep brother relationship is set in the 90s. The Birdsies are identical twins who share a complex relationship, or rather a complicated one, since one of them suffers from strong schizophrenia. After cutting off his own hand, his brother must rescue him from a dangerous mental hospital in order to secure both of their well-beings and continue a more or less ordinary life. Listening to my brother talk about shit that never, ever happened. Okay, yeah, it got bad in our house. Ray had a temper like he was fucking on fire, but he never raped him with the screwdriver. Dominic, please keep your voice down. <laughs> Number three. Devs, 2020. Does anything ever happen without a reason? There must be some events. Random events. Devs is a science fiction thriller miniseries created by Alex Garland. As a fresh, futuristic show, fans of this genre will definitely enjoy Devs, which explores the questions of free will, progress and determinism, combining philosophical concept with great suspense, action and visuals. It follows Lily, who is a software engineer for Amaya, a quantum computing company run by Forrest. But after her boyfriend disappears on his first day in a mysterious scientific facility called Devs, she decides to take on the riddle and find out what really happened that day. This is Devs. This is the only principle you need to understand. Nothing ever happens without a reason. Everything was determined by something prior. Number two. Normal People 2020. I'm just a little confused about what I feel. I think uh, it'd be awkward in school if something happened with us. Normal People is an Irish drama television series created by Alice Birch and Mark O'Rao. As a perfect mixture of classic coming of age blended with a touch of good old drama, Normal People focuses on Marianne and Connell, who both have a complicated yet strong relationship together. While they're both students in the same high school, life grows increasingly complex as they get older and attempt college and their first jobs. Alongside, the importance of their relationship is tested again and again. That was nice. <laughs> All right, what are you laughing for? Nothing. Well, you're acting like you've never been kissed before. <laughs> I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Before we unveil TV show number one, here are some honorable mentions. Robin's car. I need it to disappear, Charlie. No questions asked. But it, it just can't just be sold. It, I mean, gone. That LSAT wasn't a lark, was it? You're applying to law school. Is that such a crazy idea? Yes! Absolutely crazy. No, you don't think I could get in. It's not a matter of whether you could get in. I have raised six children. They're almost all grown. You are too old. Come to check out the competition. Anything to avoid the mill today. You saw Cotton's taking another die. It'll bounce back. Pass the ball, we move the ball. Very simple. Come here. Number one. The Queen's Gambit, 2020. Harry Beltic. What's your name? 
Beth Harmon. The Queen's Gambit is a coming-of-age period drama miniseries created by Scott Frank and Alan Scott, exploring the dangers of self-destructive behavior in a story not only incredibly suspenseful, but emotionally rich and deep. The Queen's Gambit follows the life of Elizabeth Harmon, an orphan chess prodigy on her rise to the top of the chess world. Beginning in the mid-1950s and proceeding into the 1960s, Elizabeth demonstrates a prodigious talent for the game and is soon competing at a very high level. But child stardom comes at a price. Son of a bitch. I think that's it. No, I can get out of this. I don't think so. Maybe, if you'd gotten here on time. Do you agree with our list? Please let us know in the comments. If you want to know more about a particular TV show in this list, you can check out our links in the video description. And for more top 10 TV show videos, be sure to subscribe to Community TV.